Okay, guys. Hey, it's Sunday afternoon, 1 p.m. I'm out here at the Maverick North Little Rock Yard. There's the training building. Truck wash. I just pulled over here by the shop. If you remember last week, I had that flat tire, blown tire that I was carrying around up here. And I just set it out over there. That's where they like old damaged tires to be. Just to remind you, here's this load of drywall I picked up um, Friday in Nashville, Arkansas. I deliver it Monday morning in Huntsville, Alabama. I called my customer Friday afternoon and they said they've got some overnight parking out in front of their property. So I'm gonna try to get there this evening. That's my target. Don't really have to, but that's my plan. I've already done an inspection. I'm really ready to hit the road. I'm just kind of, oh, there's something I can fix. See how this lid is left up? No need for that. All right, so uh, that's what's going on. The guys at the truck wash washed my truck for me while I was parked here. So I appreciate that, fellas. All right, let's hit the road, headed to Alabama. Okay, guys, welcome to Monday morning. Here's my customer over here, you know, drywall supplier. As you can see, they've been busy over there for an hour and a half or so, getting their own uh, local trucks loaded up. But here's, here's where I parked. There's a McElroy truck up here in front of me. He's already got his... Uh, tarps yeah that's just plastic covering his load so he's already gotten off and taking the tarps off but i wanted to show you all this i got up about a half an hour ago and was walking around the truck just checking things out and i found this sack sitting here on the steps i just thought it was trash at first but let me show you this somebody left me a bag of snacks and stuff there's a monster drink, a bag of grapes, a can of Pringles, caramel apple. <laughs> How about that? So I don't know, maybe it was this McElroy driver? I'll find out. Or just somebody locally here passing out goodie bags. I don't know. But that's pretty cool. So anyway, they probably won't start letting us in to unload for another hour, but uh, I've already gone around and uh, got most of my bungees off, the tarps. Doesn't look like there's any chance of rain, so I'll probably go ahead and pull my tarps off and try to get them folded up just out here in the street. This is a dead end road, so it's not much traffic back in here. So, uh, that's what we got. You can see this stuff has a layer of plastic over it. So even if I take my tarps off, there's a little bit of protection. Make sure I got all my bungees off of this front tarp okay well that's what we're doing here in huntsville alabama try to get this load delivered here shortly and see what's next okay guys quick update for you i've got the tarps rolled up got all the straps and plastic edge protectors put away all that's on the load now is this protective sheet of plastic so that's where we are. Should be getting into the property here in a minute. There's been two or three of their trucks already head out. So I think they're about ready to start bringing us in. But uh, oh, I've still got, I've still got edge protectors up there on that top bundle. I forgot about those. I'll have to get those off when he brings it down off with the forklift. So that's it. 
And this is just your run of the mill sheetrock, half inch by 12 foot, easy light, lightweight gypsum board. Nothing fancy about that. Okay, I'll try to show you some unload. Okay, guys. Well, the truck in front of me just pulled in at 731. And they've told me to pull in behind him. So they're right on time. I'm hoping there's a way to loop around this building and get out of here. <laughs> I don't know. That guy's just making a big loop in the lot. McElroy guy's backing up towards that fellow straight ahead in the orange shirt. Guess I'm just gonna wait here and okay, so I guess we back up to where that guy is, get unloaded, and then we just head out the way we came in. Alright, I'll show you some more later. Okay, you can see McElroy is backed into there. He told me to make the turn here. I'm just showing you. See a lot of their stock right there. He told me to make this turn and pull up to the cone that's up here beside this blue ramp. And I guess when McElroy gets out of the way, I'll back up and get loaded. He told me where I can throw my plastic away, so I'll get out and get my plastic off. And then we'll just wait here. All right, more later. Okay, guys. This is where they had me pull up to. That cone is my target. <laughs> Just giving you a shot of the place. McElroy's back there getting unloaded. So, load of drywall, 12 foot by four foot, half inch thick. From Certainteed in Nashville, Arkansas. This is what it looks like after the tarps are off, straps are off, plastic is off. I do still have some plastic edge protectors up there on the top that I'll have to get off when the forklift guy starts working on me, but that's what we're doing. Capital materials here in Huntsville, Alabama. You know, last week when I was in Atlanta, I think it was a capital materials location that I delivered to. So, That's what we got. Still don't have a pre-plan, but you know, it's like 7.20 in the morning. Um, hopefully they'll send something soon or right after I send in my information. We'll see. Okay guys, so I'm getting unloaded. This is my friendly unloader, Chris, over there. He's already got uh, the back section unloaded. I gotta grab my plastic edge protectors off of this. So he said they get about 20 trucks a weekend with various types of drywall. So once he gets those lifted off, I'll have to help him put the runners on the top layer. So just giving you a look at it. All right, 
right, let me uh, let me help him out here. All right, guys, let's get a little bit more action here of Chris and his unloading skills. All right, that's how it goes. Lifting some drywall. Let's see if I can put this down here. For you new guys, that's what they expect you to do when they're unloading, you know, put the runners up on top for them. I mean, most places want you to help like that. Some places are extra sensitive about safety and want you to just stay in the truck, but usually they appreciate the help. I noticed when the McElroy guy was leaving, they've got a broom over there, so when he gets me unloaded, I can kind of sweep this stuff off the deck of the trailer so sometimes when you're hauling drywall you get a lot of debris laying on the trailer it's best to sweep that off if you can so all right i guess that's enough footage of this i'll let you know when i get my next trip <laughs> 